share today how our fields in our area are hard. Uh, we didn't expect uh, the rains failed us in the, in the March, April, May. We had only slightly rainfall in early March and currently there is nothing on the fields. But uh, it's not an, uh, it's a familiar situation. We are used to such conditions with, with our farms being like this. So this is the current situation you can see. The farmers are really, they are really sad because uh, we didn't harvest anything. Currently the field you can see they are just the remnants of the cow peas crop that we were expecting to harvest but they dried up. That's how we are. Uh, this field uh, we use the tractors to plow. And you can see how it is. Usually we plant uh, maize but they really do well but uh, we plant uh, uh, green grams cow peas and the pigeon peas so this is how the fields are generally it's a flat area but there are some signs of terraces as you can see the farmer here did, uh, did try to dig some terraces I am at a farm that uh, belongs to my class 3 and this used to be a farm that uh, used to do well in pigeon peas production but uh, the maize crop was not doing well so the farmer shifted from using the tractors and dug these pits they are called zy pits he adopted this technology so that he could harness and harvest the the rainfall the Zypix technology is basically essential or it works well with areas that receive minimal rainfall. You dig a pit of 4 by 2 and 4 by 2 inch feet and 2 feet deep. Then you get the topsoil, you put it aside. Then you also put the subsoil aside. But uh, when you refill them with the farmyard manure, as you can see, the process here is ongoing and the farm is neat. So basically for those who use this kind of technology, get assured of uh, at least harvesting their crop even if the rains fail. Uh, this one is from my plus three farmer. Mr. John Mueu, and uh, he has adopted this kind of farming. Yeah. Already, I can see there are some heap of farmyard manure that he has outsourced. Uh, I'll be inquiring where he got them from as I do my livestock manure survey of him. He's also a poultry farmer. He keeps some hens. Uh, now here, he has modified some holes and planted some skumawiki. There's maize, there's popo. So this basically, but he does some irrigation here. So you can see how the zaipits here, they have been doing some wonders to him. And there are some tomatoes some maize so you can see how the zypids have proven to be effective in this area that receives minimal rainfall now these are freshly dug zypids and i've already started putting the dry matter what will be left now will be putting the topsoil mixed with the farmyard manure so the farmer intends to transform all his all of his farm into a zypit nation. So this is the technology that is here. And 
there are so many of them. So this is how they are done. These are four four by two and uh, four by two by two inch feet 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 deep. But basically, you can also expand after use. They usually take like uh, seven to nine years. Then you can dig them again afresh. So this area is a, is a zypit farm. Thank you.